I'm working on uh, upgrading this machine a bit. This is a cutout for a part of the new front piece I'm making. <laughs> um, getting pretty deep into this, but cutting these wood parts with these long cuts, I was having a lot of lost step issues with the motors. I was lubing it up and everything fresh, and even with like fresh lubrication, it would still have some issues. Um, at first, I thought it was just because some of this stuff was getting warped, but everything seems cool. It's obviously really dirty right now. Um, I think the the main, the first thing you want to upgrade on your CNC 3018 is this guy. Um, it says it's rated for 5 amps. I've been researching these things a lot. Apparently, a lot of these smaller, this is a 24 volt even, like even small 12 watt ones like this, or 12 volt rather. They typically don't even reach the 5 amps that they're rated for. Um, I'm pretty sure I've that is the problem that I was having with the lost steps. Because I've actually upgraded to this thing here for the time being. It's tuned down to like 30 volts. And uh, it works so much better. The machine sounds so much happier. It doesn't sound like it's dying when it's uh, making cuts. <laughs> This video is kind of about me messing with this and modifying it for my purposes. Um, I don't know if it's a good modification or if it's going to fail. I know I've been using it for at least two parts that were like a five hour job and a three hour job and it didn't even get hot. It got a little warm but it was. It seems like it was cool. The fan didn't even turn on. Uh, these power supplies I've had sitting around forever. And I want to use this one as a 48 volt for the spindle, and this is a 36 volt for the control board and the and the stepper motors, because this one has a higher amp amp output. The problem is I thought I could adjust it down how I wanted to with this potentiometer, but uh, it only lets me go like 10 volts or so, so I can't adjust this one the 70 volt down to 36 or this. I know this is the 70, I think. Yeah, the seven, I want to make the 70 the 48. This is actually already 48, but it has the higher amp output. Now, I'm not sure if just changing the voltage down is going to give it a higher amp output anyway. But I believe it's not going to for whatever reason. And I don't want to get into, like, doing a crazy mod on these things. I don't really understand the underlying concepts fully. As this is the 70 volt power supply I opened up. This thing is really nice looking on here. In here. Uh, the coil on this one is like it was originally glued, I guess, down there, and I guess it wants to sit there, so the rip, the glue ripped off, and now it's just kind of jangling around in there, it moves around a lot. So I'm going to put some hot glue on that before I put that new potentiometer in this one. I'm not sure how well that'll work compared to the original glue, so I tried to keep it mostly between the original glue. And it was kind of hard to get in there, so I globbed it in, and it wasn't really holding too good. So I used a uh, soldering iron to uh, like rework the hot glue, and that seemed to work pretty good. It still moves, but it's going to move, but it's not flopping around like it was. Looks like the uh, the 5K is a much better choice. I just plugged it in, and it's at 34.3. Yeah, this one's all dialed in at 36 volts now. With the 5K uh, potentiometer in there. And this one's also dialed in where I want it. It was 70 volts, now it's 48 volts. <laughs> I'm using that same 5K ohm resistor in there. <laughs> Measured this up so I can uh, mount these drivers in here. I thought the board would be good to mount this so the things weren't just moving around in there. Anything else that I'm going to mount, I'm probably just going to mount right to the case, like the little control board and stuff.
might even get some voltmeters for these power supplies, specific, uh, especially since I had to adjust them and it seems like the adjustment might go out of uh, whack. Couldn't, couldn't hurt. I think they're pretty cheap to get those things. These power supplies had uh, M5 screw holes. They also had these smaller, what I guess were like M3 screw holes that had a uh, metal back to them. These just went straight through, so uh, if you got two long ones, they'd be pushing into the actual board of the power supplies. You want to make sure you don't you do not do that if you were mounting these. When they look pretty cool mounted, then they'll be able to sit in that case without uh, just being loose in there, which is good. All right, so I'm, I'm actually thinking about using this power supply for milling some of these wood parts. Um, I'm going to try to get it down to closer to 24. Uh, the, it's the same control board, but I think the spindle, I know the spindle doesn't work at 48 volts. Um, I've seen it running at 30 volts, and it seemed like it was kind of at like its limit, so I'm not sure about 36 volts. All right, so I got it down to 29.6, and that negative lead is just sitting there with gravity, so I better turn this camera off. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the first thing you should do with your CNC machine is get a new power supply for it. <laughs> I don't think I even have to worry about this thing losing steps anymore. It's working really good. Even this spindle is working a lot better at the uh, 30 volts it's at right now. And probably because it's getting a lot better current going to it. And uh, this thing's feeling a little warm now. Fan is not running. The uh, big transistors in the back, they don't feel hot or nothing. I can keep my hand here all day. But the, the whole case is definitely warm overall. So it gets to starting to dissipate that heat. But uh, definitely not a problem. The little fan's not on. It's like less warm than it was before, I feel like. So, uh, I don't smell any hot glue coming off from the uh, extra coil glue I put on there, too. So, it should work pretty good like this. It's been going for like five hours. <laughs> 